Campagnolo is a name that's synonymous with road cycling. It's perhaps the ultimate road cycling brand, as Italian as pasta, as beautiful as a Tuscan hilltop town. They've won the Tour de France 40 times, and now they've just released a brand new group set designed from the ground up for gravel. Yes, a Campagnolo gravel group set. I'm ridiculously excited about this. To look at, it's unmistakably Campagnolo, but despite the familiar aesthetics, when you dive into the details, you can quickly see that it's been designed specifically to meet the demands of riding off-road on drop handlebar bikes. So your tech headlines, firstly, it's one by specific. Secondly, it's got a 13 speed cassette on there. And thirdly, Campagnolo say that this is the lightest gravel specific group set out there. This is Campagnolo Eckhart. <laughs> It takes its name from a mountain in the foothills of the Dolomites, not far from Campagnolo's home in Vicenza. Now, as you travel north from Vicenza, the mountains just rear out of nowhere, and it really feels like they're a gateway to adventure. Or if you're a cyclist, just a gateway to heaven, frankly, whether you ride road or off-road. So it's definitely a fitting name. Now, Campagnolo's own words to describe this group set are that it's got a race soul merged with an adventure spirit, which kind of rings a few bells with me personally, but actually in all seriousness, I think it kind of sums up what gravel riding is to many, many people. It's just they've done it with a bit more flair. Before we dive in, let's get a bit of backstory, shall we? So Campagnolo are one of the big three component brands, but they don't shout about it and they don't make entry-level group sets. So if you're new to the sport, you might not be familiar with them. However, it's important to know your history because Campagnolo have been fundamental in shaping modern bikes. So they were founded in 1933 by Tullio Campagnolo, who was a bit like a cross between Steve Jobs and Thomas Edison. He is the father of the modern group set but he was also a prolific inventor, among other things, the quick release and also the rear derailleur, the likes of which you see before you now. Since that time, they've been at the absolute forefront of the sport, both in terms of technology and also in terms of racing. They have won more than anyone. Now, to my mind, something that Campagnolo have long been pushing is increasing the number of gears that you have. So it's perhaps no surprise that they're the first of the big three to get to 13. And that is a lot of sprockets, but I think they've used it wisely. So you can have a really broad range, but also minimal jumps between them. Now, there are three cassette options you can choose from, two of which start with a microscopic nine-tooth cog. So you can have 936, 942, like I've got here, and also a 1045. Four. That tiny little nine tooth cog could translate into some very, very big gears. And so having never used one before, I'm really intrigued to know just how fast I can go with nine at the back and 38 up front. So I thought we should see. Fancy that? It's quite blustery out. Right, here it goes. GCN's first ever speed test. Woohoo! Okay, I'm in my nine. Here we go. Now more cogs, you'd think, would require more space. So how have Campy fitted 13 into this? Well, very simply, they've made things narrower, fractionally narrower. So their C13 chain here is 4.9 millimeters wide, whereas their 12-speed chain is 5.15 millimeters wide. So a really subtle change, but it's big enough to allow them to get 13 sprockets into the same free hub spacing. However, Critically, it is a different free hub. So this is Campanello's new standard. It's called N3W. So it's 4.4 millimeters shorter 
than a standard freehub body to allow you to get those really small sprockets, the nine and the 10, to kind of hang off the end. But brilliantly, it's also backwards compatible to 10, 11, and 12 speed cassettes. All you've got to do is add a little spacer on there. So this is Campagnolo's new cassette standard, they say, but they've got an open license on it. So any hub manufacturer is entitled to make one that will be compatible. Now paired to those cassette options, we have this carbon forearm crank set as well except with a little rubber booty on the end to guard against rock strikes. Now, there's that unmistakable aesthetic from the road group sets here, just in a single ring setup. A single ring that has those alternating narrow wide teeth profile for improved chain retention. You get 38, 40, 42, or a 44. And yes, 44.9 does indeed give you a higher top gear than 53.11, which is kind of awesome. Now, whilst we're here, I want to draw your attention to my favorite nerdy bit on this whole group set, and that's the bottom bracket, because Campagnola have designed and patented a new external seal on here, plus improved the sealing internally as well to basically make sure that you keep spinning smoothly for longer, no matter what conditions you ride it, which is excellent because if you, like me, gravel kind of means mud for most of the year, that sounds like a very good thing. But also there's no getting away from the fact that dust also has a habit of eating bikes as well. The rear derailleur again has this unmistakable Campagnolo aesthetic. It's a mechanical setup, so we've got a gear cable going into it. You do have a clutch system on here, so that keeps the chain under close control over bumpy ground. And one other neat touch I like is to help you change the back wheel in and out. There's like a clip that holds the derailleur vertically underneath the bike, and then you just simply push it back in to activate the rear derailleur again. Next up, I want to talk about the shifters, because again, if you're not familiar with Campagnolo, these might be slightly different to what you're used to. So upshifts are handled by the paddle that's inside the brake lever, but downshifts are triggered by this lever on the inside of the brake hood. So it means that you shift up the cassette with your finger and down the cassette with your thumb, and you can also activate it from either on the drops like this or on the hoods as well. The Campagnolo have had this set up for a long time. They call it Ergo Power. This one though is slightly different to what you might be used to if you're familiar with Campagnolo because the lever on the inside is a lot bigger so that you cannot miss it no matter how bumpy the terrain. Plus, with a similar thinking, the lever blade here is slightly textured to give you additional purchase when you're braking. Let's also dive into the brakes in a little bit more detail. Now, functionally, they're exactly the same as the road disc brakes. The reason being, Campagnolo say they are super happy with them and therefore there's no reason to change. Now, there is a minor change externally on there and in typical Italian style, they look great, but the aesthetic is now in keeping with the rest of the group set. But internally, they're the same, which means it's the same bleed process as the other disc brakes, and also they share the same pads and tools that you'd need as the other disc brakes. There is, however, a new pad compound available, which can be say gives the same power and modulation as previously, but increases the durability of the pad, which is always a good thing in the world of gravel or mud. Now then, what about the weight? That was one of my three major highlights at the beginning of the video. Campagnolo saying that this is the lightest gravel specific group set out there. Weighing in at 2.395 kilos, apparently, which for perspective is about 100 grams lighter than the next competitor, which they say is SRAM Force One by Mechanical. Now in terms of price, I'm afraid you can tell by looking at it, can't you, that this is not an entry-level group set. They say that it's going to retail at more than Centaur, but less than Chorus. So it's definitely not at the super premium end of group sets. But we don't have a fixed price as yet. Now, at this point, I would love to know what your first impressions are. So make sure you get involved in the comment section down below. And of course, head over to the GCN app as well. We'll have a poll on there where you can let us know your thoughts at the click of a button.